Hi everyone, this is Tanner from SmartFantasyBaseball.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move a completed set of aggregated projections over from the projection aggregator into the automated SGP tool. Uh, I want to do that because it's not quite as transparent to move the projections from this aggregator spreadsheet over into the SGP tool as it is like a simple little download you would make from Fangraphs. Uh, there's a couple tricks to know, so that's what I'm going to try to show you here. I'm not going to explain exactly how the aggregator works. That's really not what I want to get into, but I do have an aggregator already filled out on screen here. So you can see I have a few of the more recent projection updates here, and everything's calculated, ready to go. And what we want to do is move the, essentially we want to move the aggregate hitter projections and aggregate pitcher projection tabs over into the SGP tool. But we want to do it in a very particular way. Um, if you're not careful when you're moving sheets from a complicated spreadsheet with a lot going on into another one, Excel will try to move a lot of things, keep things linked, and you can end up with a bit of a mess. And we don't really want to have those ties from the aggregator over to the SGP tool. We want to have kind of a clean cutoff of just, we just want to move the end data over. We don't want all the formulas and links to come over because they can end up slowing things down. So what we are first going to do is go over into the SGP tool. So I've got both my spreadsheets open, the aggregator and the SGP tool. And if I'm going to go over to where I place the projections, so I already have some recent projections in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and insert two blank worksheets. And we'll call one uh, aggregate hitter 0125. I like to put a date in there. That just kind of reminds me later on about how uh, old a uh, set of projections are that I brought in. And then we'll rename this to be aggregate pitcher. Okay. And now we're really going to go and copy those data from those tabs over into here. So uh, I'm just going to put my mouse up in A1. And I don't know if you know this, but a little keyboard shortcut, control shift end will kind of snap from the top left down to the bottom right. So these are all of my hitters. I'm going to copy that, switch over to the aggregate hitter tab, and we're going to paste this in, but there's a little trick. Um, we don't want to do a full paste because Excel is going to try to bring formulas and a bunch of that. So instead we are just going to do a paste special. So if you right click, you can do paste special and values is what you want to select. Um, that's usually in the option up here too, once you get familiar with the symbol, but if you're not sure you want to just paste the values over here and you can see that it just brings that plain text and then the numbers, no formulas, none of that. That's what you want to avoid from coming over here. So now I'll go grab the pictures. Same thing. I'll go up to A1. Control Shift End snaps me down to the bottom. Copy that. Um, switch over to the aggregate picture tab and just paste those in. All right. So now we've we're kind of done with the aggregator at this point, and now we really just have to set up uh, the import settings so that the SGP tool can pick this up. Now, this ID here is what we are going to drive off of, and this is what I usually refer to as the SFBB ID. It's very similar, usually identical to the baseball reference ID, um, but it's uh, this is the ID we're going to pick up in the import settings tab. So if I go up to here, uh, there's a few things that we are going to have to change to get this to start to work. So first thing I'm going to do is type in the tab names. So what was that? It was aggregate 
hitter, and then our date. You can see these areas reacting to that. Uh, we said the ID that we want to use, though, was that SFBB ID. We're not going to be using Fangraphs ID, so we have to make sure to change that or things aren't going to work very well. That should be higher up in the list. Okay. And then now we need to really come down here and start to look at this. And you'll notice that we have a little bit of an issue. So plate appearances are very critical to this SGP tool working. If it can't find your plate appearances column, it really doesn't know what to do. Um, so it can kind of freak out on you. So you really have to make sure you feed it plate appearances. If I go back and I look at our hitter tab, you know, what comes over from the aggregator isn't really just your typical PA column. We go with this PA used because that's what allows you to kind of override playing time in the aggregator. So if I just copy that, that term, go back up into the import settings. And again, this, the blue things in here are what you want to change. So the way this works is it's looking on the header tab for the column PA and it's saying I can't find it. That's, I'm, I don't know what column number that's in. I don't know what column letter that is. But that's because we have the PA used there. So if I paste that into here, let it think for a second, now it can find playing time. And now we are going to be pretty good. Um, looks like it's finding innings pitched. So everything looks pretty good right now. Um, let's go ahead and check out the header ranks tabs. And yep, looks like our values are calculating. Pitcher ranks, they're calculating. So everything looks to be working. So your keys basically there are, you know, just to remind what we went through, you want to do a paste special. A regular paste is going to get you into a little bit of trouble and slow down your file. And then the other thing is you got to make sure you nail the import settings. So you want to pick the right ID system, which is the SFBB ID. And then you have to make sure you adjust that plate appearances for it to find that. And if you, if you go through all that, you should be in pretty good shape. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see any more of these, if you have any questions or uh, things you'd like to see me talk through about how some of these spreadsheets work. Maybe I can do a couple more of these, uh, but thanks for watching. Good luck this season.